This short video is to help you understand how to use an ISO 594-2 figure 7 or figure 8 reference fitting. Now, what the heck's a reference fitting? Well, if you're testing your lure fittings, and if you know, if you're watching this for ISO 594-2 and start with, you, you got to know what we're dealing with here. So I guess really explaining this too much is not necessary. What is important to know is that to test your female lure fitting, you need to have a male lure reference fitting. The male lure reference fitting for testing the female lure fitting, there's two of them. There is a figure 7 and there's a figure 8. Visually, if I lay it on the table, you can't tell the difference between the two. You actually have to get in and measure it to be able to tell the difference between the two. And for all practical purposes, the only way you're going to be able to tell the difference is to read the writing on the side of the, of the reference fitting. You will also know that I didn't call it a gauge. Gauge, of course, is a tool that is used to test a part to see if it's any good or not. The reference fitting is used to assemble with the part so that you then can attach to the eighth inch NPT female thread an eighth inch NPT pipe so that you can then do other tests on the fitting. So it's a it's a reference fitting not a gauge. Um, the gauge as I say the gauge itself would be giving it a pass or fail and this is not. This is just a tool to get you to something else that will give it a pass or fail. To use this, basically, uh, I'll just give you a little description here. Uh, you can see right on the end here is a, a little cylinder and that cylinder, the hole in the center of course is the lumen, the outside diameter is the male uh, reference fitting, the lure, the male lure and inside this larger hole are the threads for the lure lock. On the back side you've got uh, three uh, socketed cap screws that you're not going to take apart. They're just there to hold the thing together because it was necessary for making. And you've got the eighth inch NPT pipe fitting that you need to attach stuff to so you can actually perform your tests. What needs to happen is you will present your test piece to the reference fitting. Now I've, I've just put them together ever so lightly with, with I mean just light finger pressure so they're, they're just assembled. When these get assembled for the test you have to apply 27.5 newtons of force maximum so you don't want to go beyond 27.5 newtons of force and you have to apply 0.12 newton meters of torque maximum. Now these are kind of light numbers when you start talking about force and torque. There, it's, not, it's not a heavy force and it's not a heavy torque. So, and if you violate either of those you're going to violate the test results. What you really want to do with this is you want to get your hands on an ISO 594 test assembly machine. Now we've got one at our website, you can see it there. Um, and that machine will automatically assemble the test piece to the test fitting without violating the uh, standard parameters. Once you've got it assembled, so it does not violate the standard parameters, you then can do your other tests with, with full confidence that they're going to meet the requirements of the standard. The people that you are supplying parts to will be very happy to know that you have uh, the test assembly machine because then you will have validated your tests uh, and they will then be able to have higher confidence in the test when they look at them and if you are presenting your test results to a regulatory body they should be asking you to verify that the assembly of the test piece to the reference fitting was accomplished within the requirements of the standard and 
I should say that when you submit it to the regulatory body, you will be telling them that when you assembled it, you did so to the full requirements of the standard and without something similar to or the ISO 594 test assembly machine, you're not going to be able to uh, provide that validation. So it's quite a critical piece of equipment in the whole test process. Once you got them tested or put together, you can do your various tests on them and present the results to your customers. You'll know that your parts are either good or bad and you can proceed with confidence.